earlier this year um you you actually sat down to debate with with the late daniel dennett earlier this year um which was billed at the time of as the two titans of the of the free will debate how did that uh conversation did that conversation at all change your mind on on anything or did it reaffirm anything or what were your reflections now on that conversation these months later um it affirmed, okay, I have to say something childish here. It was some BBC debate venue or something. I don't remember what, but the moderator like did something that seemed very like gauche or something beforehand, which he asked the audience to vote on whether or not they believed in free will. And the majority did. And then afterward, he took the vote again and the numbers had completely switched. Ooh, wow. triumph. Okay. But more substantively, um, Daniel Dennett, amid having been a wonderful spokesperson for atheism, um, and famously so, he was one of the most diehard compatibilists. It is possible to admit the world is made out of things like atoms and molecules and stuff. And somehow still, there's this magical thing for free will. And when you look closely at what his arguments were, what he was was a terrible victim of intuitionism. When you cut through a whole lot of really philosophical foliage and stuff, what he was saying over and over and over again is, when I make a choice, it just feels so much like I just made a choice. And even in that, he says, oh, I just took out a new mortgage on my house last week. I could have used that money to do this instead or that. And I chose to do that. You're not telling me. And I said, how do you become the sort of person where it would occur to you that like you'd want to get a new more and going through that with him. Um, speaking very tentatively about the deceased. Um, Cause I was really, he died a couple of weeks later. Um, you know, he had a mixture of a great deal of faith in intuition, and intuition is a lousy litmus test for how the world works. Um, and he also had, I think, an abundance of satisfaction and desire to take credit for the fortune he had in his life. Um, he was a very well positioned guy in the hierarchy of what society doles out. And he spent an awful lot of time basically saying, uh, people make themselves who they are. Luck evens out over time. If you're successful, you deserve that award. You earned it. You're entitled. Um, and sort of what he, with his intuitionism, was constantly getting caught up with, um, was the second great seductive thing about, uh, sort of believing there's still free will. The first one is, whoa, people change. We all change. We have free will. The second is his intuitive sense that in the moment when you were choosing, like what, what brand of, you know, some giga you're going to buy at the store or whatever, you are choosing, you form an intent and you act upon it and you know you could have done otherwise. That is just so tangible in that moment of intent that that's where the intuition swamps you and you decide you have just like shown free will. And where the problem is with that is deciding that intent is your determinant of whether or not you've just shown free will, whether free will exists, misses 99% of what's going on, which is, so how did you turn out to be the sort of person who would form that intent at that moment? That's the only thing worth asking and just saying, Ooh, did you intend to do that when you did that? And did you know you didn't have to do that? You were not being coerced is like asking somebody what they thought of a book where all they've done is read the last sentence. The only question to ask is, so how do you become the sort of person who would have that intent at that point for the simple reason that no matter how much you may want to, you cannot successfully intend to do different than what you intend. You cannot successfully wish for something different from what you wish for. You cannot will yourself to have more willpower. And 
the fact that in that moment that feels so palpable, that's just falling for focusing on the last second when all that matters is history. And the intuitionism that says, I just made a decision and acted upon my intent in that moment is something that says history doesn't exist. And all there is is history. How do you become you?